there were four sets of activities. Uh, any good quality control program should be based on measurements and parameters and things that are understandable, not just descriptions, but uh, uh, things that can be monitored and evaluated. So there's kind of four sets of activities that kind of led to uh, four triads of steps in really evolving this ongoing Sigma quality control program. And I'd say, even though we're about two years into this, we're still on a learning curve. You know, we, we used the WestGuard tools, we got the books, we used WestGuard Advisor and BioRad tools, like I said, but we're, we continue to roll. So I'm gonna show you kind of the first two years of chemistry, but there's plenty more to come. This is evolutionary. And I think Sigma's with us for the future. This is gonna be a way of really reducing data from a bunch of bubble plots and uh, Lebeck Jennings to, to really condensing it to a Sigma statistic. So you really know the performance of your method uh, compared to peers based on a single statistic rather than you know, tables and tables and pages of data. So kind of the, the first was standardization. We standardized platforms, connectivity, and lot number. So we standardized chemistry platforms, made them as similar as we could as far as the parameters, the reagent methodology. We went through that actually over a couple years to, to really be sure that we were as much as possible small, medium, and large lab running pretty much the same analytical system. We standardized the connectivity, and that was actually in a way the easiest part. Uh, not exactly plug and play, but we, we had the, the network already in place. We're a very IT rich system with the data center. So we basically found a way to put everybody on the same connectivity, and that was a big advantage. We could make a change in one place on a data innovations middleware product and that guaranteed standardization of connectivity across the system. And we standardized a lot number of the QC material so that we were running uh, BioRad unassayed controls across our system. We sequester for 12 or 18 months and then get on with the uh, using the BioRad tools for peer comparison to generate the Sigma statistics. Uh, so we aggregated monthly peer comparison st statistics. Now I'll, I'll show you the actual design of our system, but just going through the 12 steps, we, we had to have a way to calculate sigma based on peer comparison. And so we got the monthly summary reports, the unity real-time reports automatically and used WestGuard Advisor to take all those data and hone it down to a sigma statistic per control per test. And I'll show you tables of what those numbers actually turned out to be. Uh, after the calculation, we spread out our, our sigmas before us to see what they were. And that was kind of eye-opening. We had high sigmas, intermediate sigmas, and low sigmas. And at a glance, and especially if we looked at sigmas across our whole enterprise, we saw the high performing methods, the medium performing methods, and the low performing methods as defined by total allowable error. So the initial survey is very interesting. Uh, as you shop around with vendors, they will say, oh, our, our method is an eight sigma method. We're six sigma and above as a single point on a chart that's part of uh, marketing material you'll see from our data that sigma is something dynamic. It changes, it has noise, because uh, it, it isn't always the, the same. It depends on the performance of your method in a given time frame. So we have what we've created a sigma dashboard. It's not a single point. Uh, we monitored sigma on this dashboard, and I'll show it to you. Basically, it was taking sigmas and putting it in Excel, so we did a month by month chart to see how our sigma changed uh, per each method. Uh, and we documented rule changes when we used the sigma to go to the OPSPEX chart and develop WestGuard rules and made a change 
we did it by site across our 10 sites and documented that change on a network drive. So we were system managing our enterprise with the, uh, the West Guard method.